Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video we are doing my Tyranid Army collection. So this is every model built. Some aren't painted, some are just primed but not painted, and some may look unpainted but they are painted. So let's get on with it. So first up, the High Fleet name is High Fleet Keeper, which I forgot what language it is, which means High Fleet Scarab. Already, they are a themed off of a Egypt, so the ranks are different to like normal Tyranids. So instead, then like Warlord, I say this is my Feral. This is like my Feral unit. The Winged Hive Tyrant with seven Talons. This, in my opinion, is a splinter fleet of Hive Fleet. Of one of the Hive Fleets. I, don't, I haven't really decided. But, so, as well as him, we have his bodyguards. We have Old One Eye, which is named. Also, how you tell like their leaders some most of the time in a, a little army is gold markings. But characters like but to, you can also become a pharaoh in this army. This is the pharaoh of the universe, which is my main pharaoh. He hasn't proved himself, but he's just the pharaoh. So we have this guy behind here, my Neural Tyrant, he could become a Feral, but also Winged Tyranid Prime, Turvagon, uh, I have a Death Leaper, and some others could uh, become a Feral, they need to prove themselves. Named characters like Old One Eye here. Or sometimes I bring them as a normal Parasite. Parasite and Mortrex just have gold markings but are not important. Total, the ones I have all built here is a total of 3,145 points. With uh, We also have some Stealth class. And here's some lore about High Fleet Keeper. High Fleet Keeper prefers bone swords like over other weapons. That's why these words they have bone swords. The ones at the back are specialists. We have more heavy weapons that Feral doesn't have bone swords because he... but the bone sword esque is off of his massive form because the bone sword looks like it. So to pay homage to their Leader, they chose bone sword. Most Tyranid of my Tyranids have bones, will have bone swords, so that means those guys or any other unit that could. So, if I get like another Hive Trident, because this one's just the leader, you can tell by this board, this head, and this. And he'll have lots of gold markings all over him. His whole horn will be gold. He'll have gold markings on the wings and everything. So that he's a leader. I also made it so they're in a des they're gonna be in a desert. Not all of them have like will have basing on them. Because sometimes their base is a bit textured. And I'll just add some Tyranid bio plants like right there. Some bio plants this is it we have one bio four the hive tyrant we have about 46 termagants like that's a lot i've actually named only one this is timmy timmy is very small compared to the rest of the army but what i started out with was these 10 those three warriors the brood lord and those 10 gene stealers three rippers 
No, four rippers and those gene stealers and those gene stealers. You can tell that there's a leader of this squad by gold. This guy's gold. He's gold. He's gold. He has... Let me just grab him. So during a battle I had with him, his hand fell off and he proceeded to be the last survivor in that unit. Not by choice, but after he's the last survivor, his hand fell off. He's able to defeat one of the opponents, my opponent's units. So I gave him a gold hand, to, which is the hand that fell off. So in my imagination, it's like he used that hand as the weapon. He, my Turvagon, which was one of my older models, which is one of my favourites as well. But one of my new favourites is the Hive Tyrant or my Feral. I just love his design and can't wait to like play him in any battle after painting. But I also have his guard. The we have the Lictor and Von Slime Reapers, Neurogaunts. Also, these ones don't look painted because High Fleet Keeper also prefers stealthy units. That's why. I have quite a lot of infiltrators here. I want to get more, like, just Van Von Lines Weepers squad and Death Leapers and stuff. Neural Weeper, just so I can maybe have, like, a whole thing that is just infiltrators. But, like, there's massive amounts of Tyranids. I have the... This one. Screamer Killer. So there's quite a lot. I actually have some of the older models. So this is one of my older Termagants. These are the older Gene Stealers. I have some painted in their color scheme. I went for this color scheme because like blue looks really royal. And the, the bone color because bones. This nice colour here because it was a reminisce to gold. The green because it chant it looked really nice like as a contrast and it really does to my Tyranids. So like this is an update. This used to not be painted with the little ones. But after painted it looked amazing. I haven't finished some of these guys need green like this warrior. But some need painting like him. He's been painted, but I missed some bits. Mainly one of the foot feet. There's a massive amount of like units. I think round number is like a. Uh, this is just an estimate. A hundred and twenty-six models, like forty-six Terragons, ten. Was it 27? So. Was that? Uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. We also have like. What is it? Seven warriors. One brood lord. I have another brood lord. But I don't really like brood lord. I like gene stealers. But I don't like brood lord. Because in my opinion, he's just a bigger gene stealer. That doesn't really help me out. This is the whole army. I'll bring some of these guys more into the light. So this is my screen You can see the foot. I done a green tongue. I done vein like on the head he looks amazing i always thought he looked like a crab so i might i kind of want to buy another one and make a custom where i remove the bottom um claw and make it so he has a crab claw more crab claw 
esque here and then add like another like appendage here so we and make it so his head looks more like a crab i want to bring down the wing tyrannid pram i don't really like this i like the winged hive tyrant because he's quite big but this like he's not that good i've used him in battle he was obliterated like he was attached to warrior squad he was obliterated absolutely destroyed in battle now we have this one i've painted in like all the gaps so it looks really nice the nice big green tongue this is absolutely massive model i i, I don't really like bringing nidzilla because like to play nidzilla i i don't really like it because my units are more bone swordy and love range because so their lore is they're actually on a planet where it's desert but uh, every 10 years on what would be earth um the planet freezes so these tyranids were on like everything was on the planet because they do that they don't just stay in the air they go down they don't use spores usually because they usually have a thing called the great devouring not devourer devouring just so people don't think that that turns rock into more biomass usually though it can only be used as the tough shell on the tyranids but that no one knows what it is or I'm going to make a custom of of what it is, basically. Or at least, kind of. But they also ha really hate any warp, like, creature. Like, if it's from the warp, they, like, if they're fighting space marines, say, orcs, and then, like, chaos comes, they'll stop fighting any other faction and focus on the chaos. And they'll go more defensive on any other faction, like, because they mainly hate chaos. And that's because of how, what they were fighting when they were, so they were fighting chaos undivided. Which they have a grudge against now. As this high fleet has special things. Some units, the Feral, Turvagons, Parasite Mortrex, Old One Eye, don't listen to the Hive Mind. They have their own mind. But and they also are the same. So this this guy right here is the exact same as the one as was in last the last battle. So on their ships, or when they make their ships, they have little seal like on the inside on the feral's ship all his bodyguards have like we shell like we protective bits that are kind of like drop pods where they drop onto the battle using them but they also stay in there so they're the exact same so this guy's the exact same in every battle this one is the exact same in every battle these two are the exact same in every battle like everybody here is the exact same in battle the and you can see they prefer bone swords here bone sword bone sword bone sword these don't have bone sword because they're specialists behind them but any unit i can have bone swords on again i will have bone swords i wish you could make a weird version of this with bone swords like just all bone sword it would look weird still so like i'm gonna finish off the specialist squads and then i'll make more bone sword guys i'll get another one of these guys bone swords i'll get more of these guys probably bone sword i'll put bone swords on them of course any unit i want a bone sword on i i want to put a bone sword on especially him i want to make a custom a hit with five ginormous bone swords not five six like 
six on each arm like that and that would just be kind of weird but also quite cool also i always like in my mind i counted his massive horn as a bone sword as it's got the exact same shape reason he has that is that's why they kind of like bone swords because they want to pay homage to their ruler the pharaoh also um I don't play with these buffs, but like in lore, once like this guy's took down in battle, his mind goes back up to the ship and a new one is made. But what it is in the lore, or my lore, is once he's defeated any unit, like any, every single unit on the battle becomes more enraged because of it. So, like, see, they're just already mad because they're fighting chaos. He dies by being maybe, like, shot by a missile or nuked or something. They'll all go insanely, they'll become insanely annoyed and start um, trying to gnaw through every single unit. But, anyway, that's it. So, that's all of them. That's High Fleet Keeper or scarab for you anyway that's it enjoy your day and have a good time